hosted by Grubhub for this soundbar session. So please do enjoy. Thank you. Just say 
Ain't no one gonna tell you this I'm just trying to decide If I should tell you you're beautiful I'm just breaking the ice If we could go anywhere, where would you want? You and me, baby, or we could get lost It's obvious, you're dangerous One or two I don't know where we'll go But I know we're headed for trouble And if it's safe in one or two That sad tonight could go Fuck gravity, we rock like drugs
get those goosebumps every time yeah. you come around yeah you ease my mind you make everything feel fine worry about those comments i'm way too numb yeah it's way too dumb yeah i get those goosebumps every time i need the heimlich throw that to the side yeah. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. When you're not around, when you throw that to the side, yeah. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. 713 to the 281, yeah, I'm riding. Why they on me? Why they on me? I'm flying. Sipping low key. I'm sipping low key at Onyx. Find a rider. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. You come around, yeah. You ease my mind, you make everything. Every time, yeah, when you're not around, when you throw that to the side, yeah.
It's nothing personal. I draw the blinds. They don't need to see me cry. Cause even if they understand, they don't understand. So then when I'm finished, I'm all about my business and ready to save the world. I'm taking my misery, making my bitch get be everyone's favorite. I just wanted to say thank you so much to Rob Hub for inviting me tonight. Please stay tuned for Q&A after this performance.
Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Al oh, Walker. I'm really, really happy to be here with you guys today. And let me see, are we up and running? I believe so. But yeah, first of all, I just wanted to say thank you all for tuning in and huge thanks for Grubhub for putting all of this together. So now the Q&A is, if you want to ask me anything, just put them in the comments on the chat and uh, I will try and uh, answer a few before uh, I'll get moving on. So, all right, let me see. So was that the question? Will you do a song with uh, the uh, reshoot in Hong Kong? Well, uh, actually like, I would really like to go back to Hong Kong and reshoot the music video because Hong Kong is magical. Another place I would also love to go to is Singapore and use like their amazing architecture to kind of like film a, um, a music video. And uh, I think Rachel Rosenberg uh, is asking if my music is influenced by my hometown. And I would pretty much say yes, because in my hometown, it's fairly known to be the city of rain because it's like raining all the time. And uh, I live in Bergen, Norway. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so you used, like when it's constantly dark outside, it's raining all the time, then you end up spending a lot more time just being inside and that's eventually what led to me being more interested and more caught up with, for example, uh, music production. And 
I've heard actually I, I, music. What is the number one tip for new music producers? So thank you so much that I liked it. And uh, the tip I would like to say is never ever give up uh, on your journey, uh, no matter how long time it will take, because it's going to be quite a wild one. But at the same time, you constantly learn and you develop as an artist uh, at the same time as. Yeah, like you get to know more people in the community and at the same time, like you're building a fan base. And like I've been so close to quitting myself uh, throughout the years until I produced Fade, uh, which uh, ended up like flipping my entire world uh, on uh, like upside down. And uh, it made me be able to have the possibility to focus on music on a full time schedule. Um, Megan, I'll ask how's the. Um, pandemic been for me and to be fair it's been quite different and it's also been good it's, uh, it's been very interesting to go from traveling non-stop to <laughs> never really traveling at all and uh, like my lifestyle for the past five years has been almost non-stop traveling like 100 to 200 uh, travel days a year and 100 concerts every year and uh, this suddenly going from all that to a sudden stop has been Pretty interesting, but it's been giving me the opportunity to, uh, well, look at things the other other way around. Uh, consider like touring and fa friends, family, and everyone around me, and uh, it's kind of getting kind of given a very nice perspective on everything. And I've been really happy that this happened, like because uh, it was like a break you didn't really need, but you actually needed. If it makes sense. So, so let's see. Uh, Nansen Noyan asked, what was your favorite live performance? I would say probably somewhere in Mexico. Uh, I love playing in Mexico. Like the, the crowds are like always like so wild. And uh, I also love playing in Norway, down in China and all around America. Like there's so many places I like to, uh, like playing. I just like love the experience and uh, the audiences tend to uh, yeah, play along really well. So it's, it's really fun. Oh, where when Feda blew up, and what was that like? Asked by Nash Meldrum. I was, I think, when I first put out Fade, I was 17 or 16. And uh, and then around when I was 18, then we put out Faded. And uh, since then, like, it's been crazy. Uh, but I don't really think about, like, the success about it or anything, because I would rather keep my feet on the ground. But it's been quite a journey. And... Uh, that's all thanks to you guys that's watching and all the other ones that's been listening. Uh, Toxic Rollo asked, Alan, who inspired you to make music? Uh, well, in the very beginning, I was influenced by a producer known as DJ Ness. And he was like a very like underground, hands up techno music producer. And uh, it, it kind of like was the main inspiration for my melodies and everything because I was just purely interested in learning how on earth he created those tunes. So I asked him and uh, and uh, like, how did you make your music? And then he gave me a bunch of tips. He told me to like stick the YouTube tutorials. He also came with like influence or tips on, for example, how to, uh, yeah, for example, mix, master or uh, yeah, a bunch of other things and how to improve uh, generally as an artist. And that's mainly just thanks for thanks to him to, for like even like making me interested in that entire subject. Uh, and let's see. Do we have any other questions? Uh, play, draw, create, repeat. Uh, what do you like to do uh, other than music? Well, I love gaming. Uh, gaming has been a huge part of my life growing up, and I like how I can, for example combine the music universe and the gaming universe and in a way connect uh, them and uh, it's it's really fun and i really enjoy it and uh, another thing i really like to do is go-karting that's like a hobby that i picked up uh, during the pandemic uh, before like the go-karting place shut down uh, but that's like uh, another like fun fact Mr. A asked, um, are you coming to Pakistan uh, after COVID or the pandemic? Um, to be fair, I would love to. I, I love traveling and seeing the world. So if I ever come to Pakistan, I I highly hope so, like that I would have the chance because I'm 
I would love to see Pakistan and uh, like the other countries around in that region. Uh, uh, let's see. Cyrus uh, is asking, are you planning on doing more science uh, uh, related to climate change? Uh, well, regarding different world, that was like uh, a very interesting topic. And it was really hard to kind of like write a song specifically about climate change. Uh, with Sophia Carson and Katrin on a course that we actually managed to put together a great production. And uh, it turned out really cool. Like uh, Sophia Carson did a great job singing the song. And the, the lyrics had a deep and uh, meaningful impact. And uh, yeah, lyrics. Let's see. Uh, oh, the chat is moving all over. Let's see if we can, I can pick up a comment here. Uh, Brody Music, what song have you made is the best? Uh, if I were to pick my own favorite song, I would probably say the first initial song that led to my breakthrough, which is Fade. And uh, mainly the reason for that is because that was like the beginning of the entire journey. And it's kind of like, it's like my standpoint and definition of uh, uh, my music today. And I wouldn't have been anywhere without it. Uh, let's see. I saw someone asking, I kind of didn't quite see the name, but I saw someone asking, uh, ask Peanut. Peanut is doing great right now. As I'm not home. Uh, I, I'm uh, well, Peanut is uh, at my sister's place and uh, being well taken care of. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see him soon. <laughs> David uh, asks, can you do a face reveal? <laughs> uh, no, I can't. <laughs> uh, Shilo, hello, Pago, Alessandra, I'm gaming. What was your most memorable performance? I don't really know which one specifically, but like things that I find really memorable is when the audience sings louder than the music that's playing out from the speakers itself. And that usually happens like uh, when I'm performing, for example, Mexico, India, or anywhere else in the world like it's it's amazing to hear like people sing and express the song so loudly and proudly uh let's see can we find one question here should be asked uh, Anna, do you like bts uh, yes i do like bts and uh, uh i actually wish uh, if i like or hope that i could one day collaborate with them uh, I saw someone asking, are you planning on a vocal version uh, of Force? And uh, I would say yes, I will. That's been like uh, on my mind since uh, since we first did the vocal version of Fade to Faded and then Spectre to the Spectre. So I would love to kind of like just redo that song and turn it into a, a vocal version. But for the time being, I don't have like a specific date or like my, any progress on that song for the time being. I mean, of course, it's always really make a song with Lucas Graham. Uh, if I had the opportunity, I would definitely like to do that. And Anna G asks, what games do you like to play? Lately, I've been playing a lot of old school RuneScape. It's been like the game that I've been, like, that I grew up with. Uh, I find it really, really uh, entertaining. I mean, like, I especially liked to play it uh, when I was on tour because it was such a like, nice game to just play when you had like five hours uh, connecting right or whatever uh, somewhere in the world and uh other than that i play a lot of warzone and the multiplayer like uh, for modern warfare <sighs> when will we release time old version oh that's a tough one i would really like to release that one i love playing that one live and i really wish that i would have the opportunity to release that song and uh yeah, still like internal discussion and i uh, i hope i uh, yeah, we'll get to release that version at some point. <clears throat> uh, you know, as if I would uh, come back to Sri Lanka, and uh, the answer is yes. Like uh, when the pandemic comes on and and uh, traveling opens up again, then I would definitely like to come to Sri Lanka again because last time uh, it was incredible. I don't think I've ever received 
any more warm welcome than what I got when I came to Sri Lanka last time. It was really a really, really fun experience. Well, guys, um, I think I'm going to do one last question and then yeah. we gonna, we'll wrap it up. So let's see, can I find a interesting question here? Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Have you been to Denmark? Yes, I have. Uh, let's see. Uh, a call a bit on the marine. Yes, I would love to do that too. Like, uh, I, I actually did reach out to her and asked if she wanted to do a song together. But um, yeah, that's uh, something I hope could happen at some point. Uh, how do you get, okay? I would, this would be my final question for the the night. Uh, Laurel is asking, how do you get pumped up before your shows? To be fair, like many times, I'm really, really relaxed before I go on stage. Uh, and usually, the only thing I do before I go on stage is literally just drink a Red Bull and and then I'm fine. Then I'll just go there and perform for two hours. Uh, and when I'm wearing a mask and the hoodie, then like kind of like removes the ability to just like turn away turn around and then uh, have a sip of water or even eat so uh, so uh, just doing as much as i can before the show and maybe just start to uh, get move ready like move your body a little bit and uh, get a little pumped up oh i don't know like i'm very very chill and i don't know where that some like boost of energy comes but it usually comes when I see a great crowd reaction and I can see that the crowd is enjoying it. And that's kind of like also uh, in, yeah, contributing to my, uh, I would say, energy on stage. So cool, guys. Thank you so much. It was an honor to uh, tune in. Thank you so much, Grubhub. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, I will see you guys sometime uh, around when this pandemic comes to an end. So, my name is Alan Walker. Peace out. Have a fantastic night and I'll see you soon.